Hello, hello! Well, I hope we've made it. Yes, here we are. Welcome to Scotland. Welcome to the MPC 2020 Gala. Bear with me. It's a beautiful day. Welcome. I'm just going to turn the music off. Talk amongst yourselves. Hello there. I don't know if this is working, but I can see there are some people commenting. So hello and welcome to Scotland. Welcome to the MPC 2020 Gala. I even got dressed up for you. Uh, this is the first time I've put on a shirt and tie for many months. And I think you can probably tell. I haven't even ironed it. And I apologize, but I'm trying my best. Um, welcome. As you know, many of you, we've had an amazing, amazing weekend in Scotland. The weather has been fantastic. Um, across the world, I know there's been a lot going on. We weren't sure whether we should even do this tonight or this weekend. Obviously, there's, there's so much going on, not only in uh, the whole world, but also in America. Um, but we really wanted to celebrate with you guys to thank you for all the hard work that you've done. And also that uh, there's charities that we've supported. So thank you. Uh, we want to be here. We think this is the most inclusive, um, positive um, and supportive communities we've ever been part of. So thank you for, for being there for us. We're here for you. Uh, so stay safe wherever you are. Onward with the celebrations, I hear you say. Exactly. Uh, disclaimer. Yes, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Things may not be working. I think I'm live, but that's a good thing. So, as some of you may know or may not know, MPC is a uh, fundraiser that we support many charities. Every year we like to say thank you to our, our amazing peakers, of which we have in 82 different countries. We have over 12,000 of you. We've raised over $5 million for charity, and we couldn't have done it without each and every one of you. So thank you so much for that. Each year we like to hold the wee celebration in Scotland, we had one planned. We had some fantastic festivities for you. Uh, first of all, we were gonna have a wee workout with uh, our hairy coach who's about this high, so I didn't invite him over because one, we needed to social distance, and two, you wouldn't be able to see him uh, under the camera. John Valbanesi, thank you so much. We had a social distance workout yesterday. It was uh, incredible. I sweated probably more than I think I've ever sweated in my life, possibly due to the um, the, the weather because it was sunny here. Secondly, we had obviously the amazing Coach Mooney. I want to see lots of likes, lots of thank yous to Coach Mooney. She is incredible doing it there on her own, but she wasn't on her own. Actually, there was over almost 3,000 of you there with her doing amazing recovery session with her. It was painful, but worth it. And today, well, how many of you were hiking today? Did I see your pictures? I did see some pictures, it was fantastic, thank you. We challenge you just for a little act of recovery. Yesterday was a big day. We wanted to do, <laughs> what am I wearing? What is this? It's the best I could find. Today we wanted you to do 2,020 steps or meters and a little act of recovery before we celebrate tonight. Yes, now, those of you that came to the gala last year or the galas before, you'll know that we have this event in Scotland and it really is a lot of fun. Just to say thank you to all our speakers and really celebrate with you guys. Normally, it starts off, um, you guys all get f fantastically dressed up, you look amazing, you've had a great weekend, you're exhausted, uh, and then we ply you with alcohol, which is uh, obviously not part of the NPC plan, but um, does help with a pain sometimes and um, so the first thing we should probably do for you guys is get you all a drink right am i right let's get a drink so now uh those of you who have looked at the posts we are going to make a little peaker punch now this is the alcoholic version i'll do the uh virgin version after try saying that a couple of times after you've had a couple of peaker punches um Yes, let's make a punch and then we'll get on to the, the messages from you guys. So, guys, as you know, I was in um, uh, America, I was in Hawaii. Um, I did a uh, isolation sour. This is very similar. It has a pineapple theme. You might see more of that later. Um, first of all, now keep me straight here because uh, this might be my only second time making this. You're going to need a shaker. If you haven't got a wee shaker, get yourself a wee jar. 
but make sure you clean it up first. My isolation sour, I used a gherkin jar, a uh, pickle jar, as you guys call it in the US, and uh, didn't go down too well. I didn't wash it out properly and it tasted of pickles, though I like a pickle. Now, you're gonna want two teaspoons of sugar, normally caster sugar. I've only got the brown one here at home. We're gonna do two teaspoons. So do this with me, two of those. Thank you very much. Look, we've all worked out really hard this weekend, okay? It's also a time to celebrate. So it's time to look after ourselves and treat ourselves tonight. Tomorrow, we're gonna work out. I'm sure Valbo will have something for us. Those of you that are following the NPC plan, obviously, um, it's been a great way to keep ourselves motivated. So uh, enjoy that. And also the social distancing 30, uh, you guys really took to that and we really appreciate it. You guys have hit it, not once, more than twice. Share it with everyone if you still haven't done it all. Share it with your friends, share it with anyone, give it a go. You don't need any equipment. Just get out there and give it a go. Okay, here we go. Two teaspoons of sugar in your wee shaker. Uh, now, what comes next? Ah, well, yes, it must be, right? Some whiskey. Now, we asked our peakers what kind of cocktail they liked. Of course, they all said a whiskey cocktail. Uh, I do like a whiskey. I may have had one before we started, you may notice. Um, this is a very special whiskey that I've got. I'm not gonna try and plug it here. You may have heard of it, it's called the Sassanac. Anyway, uh, I've not got much left, Alex, so let's uh, make some more. Um, I'm gonna suggest you do um, around 50 mils. You could do 60, let's do 50. This is my, I don't know if you know this show, Outlander Stars, never heard of it. Anyway, let's do one of those. And maybe a wee touch more, just to, just to liven us up because you know, I'm not saying I'm here on my own, but uh, I'm here on my own. Okay, here we go, your whiskey's in. Now, we want a wee bit of lemon, okay? Now, I'm gonna go for half a lemon. I've got this fantastic device here. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. I've not either, but I got one and it's amazing. So we're gonna do half a lemon. We're gonna squeeze that into my shaker. Try not to squeeze it all over yourself, but if you do, it doesn't matter. You're sweet enough. You're not gonna be that sour tonight. Yes, there we go. And the next ingredient is pineapple juice. Now, I'm probably gonna do, I don't wanna do too much, but you can, if you like your drink, you don't like too much uh, whiskey in your drink, maybe a bit more of your, uh, your juice. So let's go, let's go a shot, just under a shot. That looks about right. Finally, guys, <clears throat> the key, key ingredient. Now, I know of you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. Um, an egg, yes, an egg. Now, I know you guys are like, what? What's he doing putting an egg in there? It's not for the added protein, though that helps obviously building muscles, but uh, it just tastes delicious in there. So you don't have to do it with the egg, of course. This is going to the classic um, whiskey sour uh, of it all, but let's do an egg white, right? So now, let's see, do this with me. Now, where am I gonna put the yolk? It's no yolk, I tell you that, all right. I'm gonna put it back in my shot glass. Now, can you do this one-handed? You're gonna crack it. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? There we go. There we are, you can see that. One-handed, into your hand. You're gonna let the egg white run through uh, into the shaker, keeping the yolk in your hand. You can keep that for later, maybe make a nice wee, uh, a nice wee breakfast for yourself. Tomorrow, you'll probably need it. Here we go, three, two, one. Whoa, cracking it, one hand. Look at that, most of it goes on the table and a small amount goes in the cocktail shaker. That's exactly, oh, and so did the yolk as well. Well, it's going very well. Here, I might just pick that out. Oh dear. There we go, look, I got it. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. There we go. It's gonna be delicious, I promise you. Um, I need to wipe my hands, just give me one second. Aha, right, now, Ice, guys, ice, we need some ice. Get some ice in there. Look, I'm ready for a drink. I don't know about you guys. Get plenty of ice in there. There we go. Into a shaker. Now, let's do this together. Three, two, one, let's shake it out. Like Tom Cruise. I don't even know if anyone's watching this. Are you guys watching this? Everything's going according to plan. It is. Okay, good, good, good. 
There we go. It's feeling nice and cold in the hands. That means it's ready into your glass. There we go. I better watch what I'm doing. There we go. And if you have, maybe we pineapple slice. I don't know. I'm just making this up now. There. There we go. There is your Pika Punch Slangeva. Thank you for coming to the gala. Thank you for coming to my little abode here. And uh, cheers, Slangeva. I'm gonna have a little taste and then I'll make the, uh, the virgin one. Mm. That's delicious. That's really good. Dare I say it, I'm not even lying. Okay guys, if you want to make yourselves a wee virgin, Drink. Here we go. Now, very quickly, all you need, I'm gonna change it up. Get your nice glass. We are going to put, we're gonna put some pineapple chunks. Cut up in your glass. Get half of a lime. Yes, the lime's really fantastic, honestly. I love lime, it's really good. Really cuts through anything. Um, Look guys, normally when we have the gala, I don't have to make drinks for everyone, so it goes a lot faster, so bear with me. But here we go, look, I'm gonna squeeze, squeeze my lime. I might give it a double squeeze. Get plenty of lime, lime juice out there. Now, you want a bit of grape juice? I actually don't have grape juice, but I actually have elderflower, which is delicious. So I'm gonna put in maybe a quarter of a glass of that. Some mint leaves. Get your mint leaves in there. Mm, that's maybe too many. Like four or five nice mint leaves. And then, if you have a wooden spoon, get yourselves a wee wooden spoon. And with the bottom of the wooden spoon, I want you to crush it all down. Just give it a good crush. The more macerated, the better. The more of that fantastic flavor we get in there. Fantastic. Some more ice, stick some ice in there. And then top up with some sparkling water. It doesn't have to be sparkling Scottish water, but if you have it, even better. I feel like I'm on a food show here. This is the NPC gal, I promise you. There we go, give it a little stir. I might give it a little stir so you can see. You can see this one, how fantastic. Oh, and there we go, a little stir little mint sprig. Cheers. There we go. Refreshing. You can see I got some sun today. Anyway, guys, those of you that don't know what NPC is, where have you been? We've been going for many years now. I can't even remember how long. Um, and every year it gets bigger and better. And I can't think uh, enough of you for really joining us and spreading the message. Obviously, in the last couple of years, we've uh, introduced the ambassador scheme as well. We have these amazing ambassador groups around the world. Now, what is MPC? Well, the best people to answer that question would indeed be our peakers. Now, we asked our peakers, if you could just tell us a little bit about what MPC means to you, I'm going to tell you right now. They've sent us in their droves. This is a book. This is a book from all of our ambassadors. That's only the ambassadors. The ambassadors vary from, uh, from Utah to, oh, here we go, call them out to <clears throat> certain cities, to, to New Zealand, to, um, to England, to whatever you are. You know, it's states, but it's also countries, cities. And um, we also have yoga peakers. Yes, you guys, thank you for yesterday. Vegetarian because we have them all. So I asked you guys to tell us what is empathy and what does it mean to you? I'm gonna read out a few of them. I hope you will bear with me. Have a little, have a little, uh, little taste of your peaker punch. Here we go. This is what MPC is to the walking peakers. And you're welcome to join any of these groups. The walking peakers. I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. The great affair is to move. These are true words written by Robert Louis Stevenson and quoted by Cameron McNeish at last year's gala. Indeed, he did. 
One year later, these words suddenly aren't that obvious, that there were going to be a time that traveling for travel's sake was not permitted, even forbidden. However, something we have to do in this time of COVID, quarantine and lockdowns, is to keep moving. We have to stay safe and healthy to be able to help those that need us and to look after ourselves. Thank you, walking peakers. Indeed, I totally agree with you there. Cheers to that. Uh, I'll have another wee slurp of that here. Now, next, mm. I might need some help with this. Those of you that speak German, I speak ein bisschen. Here we go, the MPC German speakers. As MPC German speakers were fighting, I'm gonna do the accent, I shouldn't do the accent. Muscle Tomcats doing climb pools and are wondering why the bar has to pee. At the same time, Heben wir tot are doing Mobilatsungbungen and are thinking about finishing mit dem Freiwilligen Ausdauer wollen. German. English, English, German or Deutsch, so what? For six years, peakers all over the world speak one language, solidarity. Indeed, I didn't understand a word either. The North Texas peakers, Slanger. How are you? I hope you're well. Hmm. North Texas peakers is a group of 340 members in an area spanning approximately 9,000 miles. We come together because of My Peak Challenge, inspired to live healthier and happier lives. But for each individual, MPC means something greater. It means community for those needing to belong. Commitment for those needing to reason not to quit. Confidence for those needing to know that they are enough. Compassion for those needing to be part of something greater than themselves. And in a time that we could not physically be together, MPC means connection, which pulled us all through the storm. I hear you, all Texas speakers. I think that is a beautiful sentiment and one reflected by all of us at MPC. We hear you, we, we are with you, and uh, yeah, we will get through the storm together. So thank you for that. Um, Next, we have the Utah Peakers, Slanger Utah Peakers. I might have to move on to the, uh, the Virgin one here. Mm. Here we go. This is from the Utah Peakers. I've only got a couple more of these. <clears throat> some of us were fit before, yet wanted just that something more. While well, some had never tried this stuff, and now they're feeling pretty tough. Lots have felt they've fallen short, then felt the boost of fierce support. They stepped back up, and goals were set. They don't say can't. They say can't yet. Most of us are quite surprised at friendships forged within this tribe. We thought we joined a fitness plan, but now we have friends in foreign lands. This thing we call MPC is a strengthening community, advising with encouragement, daily building confidence. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I have a lovely little piece here from the Japanese Peakers. This is uh, the Japanese Peakers Plus. The world is connected by the sea, but people aren't always connected. There are so many things between them, countries, religions, races, politics, languages, etc. However, in the MPC community, these things are just shared qualities, not barriers because we always have something in common, the desire to challenge ourselves, positivity, kindness, support, and so much more. Each peaker has their own challenges, but the community always supports them. We started sailing from a tiny island called Japan and found a mothership called MPC spread out over a global community. And we're looking forward to continuing our journey with you all together. Guys, these are amazing. I could go on all night. I'm sure you don't want me to, but I'm going to. The last one, let's do one more. This is from, here we go, Peakers Scotland. Hello there, they're probably all outside. Peakers Scotland. Let's have a little, let's have one more little, little punch. Look, we're celebrating, aren't we? Peakers Scotland. But to see her was to love her. Love but her and love forever. Fabulous friends, boundaries challenged, and great adventures start defining the meaning of MPC for Peakers Scotland. 
We offer each other support and friendship, an ear, a shoulder, an encouraging word. We sweat quite a lot, laugh, share thoughts. We plot and plan in pubs, bars, swim in lochs, climb mountains, walk through bluebell fields and moors, are put to task at EDA, Zoom chat, and dance the fling at the gala. We expose our ball bags, run races, enter quizzes, and more to support our charities. Slangeva. Guys, beautiful words from each and every one of you. As I said, there are so many here. We will endeavor, I may be Josh, Alex, you guys are gonna put these up for everyone to just uh, look at, put, to read through maybe, or we'll put them on the ambassador sites. Thank you so much. We've read through them. I'm gonna keep reading through them. They are fantastic. Now, I might need some water if I'm gonna have to keep talking on my own. Mm. You guys, the next part of the night, normally in the gala, I normally have a few special guests. What we would normally do is invite our charities on board first to come and talk to you guys. We have, obviously, in the last couple of years, we've supported many charities and supported many projects from um, uh, Blood Cancer UK, which used to be known as Bloodwise, um, Marie Curie, uh, Hospice Care, um, the fantastic Cohonas Scotland and the uh, Environmental Defence Fund who we've taken on board this year. I asked these guys to tell us a bit about their support and they did something even better. They went ahead and made videos for you guys. So obviously with the challenges of social media, I'm not able to share this with you. So what I'm going to do is read you out a very little piece from them all just to say thank you, to let you know what they're up to then we will release these videos at a later stage. So this is from basically all of our charities to thank you guys, remembering that we have supported them, raised over almost $5 million for charities. We've um, helped finance research projects for uh, blood cancer. We've um, supported uh, care workers in uh, hospice care, environmental um, defense fund, and also, of course, you know, Richie there at Cohonas as well. You know, we, we really um, appreciate you guys, your support, and also your enthusiasm, the way you guys just, just support us every day, all day. This is down to you guys. So this is from our charities. They say, these causes that you guys graciously support, protecting our forests and oceans, funding research that will make future treatments for children with leukemia less painful, helping nurses provide care for those approaching the ends of their lives and raising awareness for testicular cancer. They are so important and your efforts are appreciated now more than ever. On behalf of all our charity partners, thank you for everything. Watching you rally around each other all across the globe over the past few months has been amazing and a reminder of what we're capable of when we work together. I'm so proud of what the peakers around the world have done and continue to do. There are brighter days ahead. Thank you, each and every one of you. Thank you. Guys, Slanger, I really appreciate all your help. If you haven't joined NPC, come and join us. You know, we're a very, um, very, very friendly family. Um, I want you to introduce you to some of our amazing family. Now, bear with me. I've never done this before. I would love to get some of our team on board. So you can just say hi, see if they're there. I'm gonna see if I can work this out. Here we go. Let's have a look. We're gonna go live. Oh, right now. Here we go. How do I even do this? Oh, this is, aha. There's someone you might meet, someone you may have met before. Let's see if this works. There he is. You know, I'm so tall, I'm gonna to have to crouch down. There. Yeah. You are. That is a fantastic kilt you're wearing. Cheers, my friend. How you doing? Lange, cheers. Uh, all the better for seeing you. I, I should have wore a tie. You should have. I see. Yes. In fact, I don't even know, want to know what you're wearing under the, your, uh, your kilt there. But uh, thank you for yesterday, pal. It was uh, an amazing workout. It was good to see you again. And, uh, it, was, it, was, um, it was my pleasure. And uh, are you feeling sore today? I am. I'm, I'm glad no one can see uh, below my waist because actually I'm... Um, I'm on crutches right now. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I am sore with my lower back, but it, do you know what? The yoga really helped. It was, uh, it, did. It, did. It, was uh, it was a nice recovery. I hope you've had a good day. I've had a brilliant day, and uh, I don't know if you can still see what time is it. It is half nine at night, and the sun, the sun is still shining. That is amazing. I, I noticed that we, as we worked out outdoors yesterday, I was sweating so much. 
um, and you didn't have a bead of sweat, but I was in the sunshine. Uh, I, I, I think there was a few beads, but it was a black t-shirt, you know, it hides the sweat. And John, thank you so much. You helped us out with the uh, the um, social distance challenge of 30 days. I know a lot of people were, a lot of people um, loved that challenge. A lot of people got on board. A lot of people were introduced to NPC as well. So thank you for sorting that out. There was so many new, so many new peakers as well. So welcome to all the new peakers. Welcome to all the new peakers, John Slanger. Um, yeah. I want to, I want to speak to some other, some other amazing people, uh, members of our, our company. I have no idea how to do that. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Cheers, John. Cheers. Maybe you need to hang up. I'm thinking that. Hold on. You hang up. I'll I'll keep drinking. I'm glad to see you're still wearing your hat backwards. I tried to brush my hair and it was horrific. This has been 11 weeks without a haircut. And uh, yeah, I don't think I can hang up. So... Mm. Uh-oh. I know you're really good at technology. Hmm. Questions. If I press end, will I be ended forever? Hold on, let me try this. Guys, talk amongst yourselves. Look, I think we've done it. I think he's done it. I think we're back. You're back with me, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what's happening now, but it looks like he may have left the party. At least I hope I'm still going. I hope I'm still here. I think I am. Quarantine hair, indeed, quarantine hair. So, uh, let's continue with the party. Um, there is another person I would love you to meet. Now, she is known to many of you. I'm not sure if I can find her, but I'll do a damn good try. She is, as we like to call her, the mama. She's uh, the woman. Yes. There she is! <laughs> That is uh, amazing feats of technology right there. I was um, not, not sure I was going to be able to figure this out either. So, Me cheers, either. Oh, <laughs> cheers, Jordana. Mama Jordana, thank you so much. You look fantastic. Can we see what you're wearing? Oh, just a, a very Oh, nice, tremendous. Just, just sitting in my backyard, you know, little sun. Oh, as you do in so. the sunshine. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. And thank you for all your hard work this year. It's been an amazing year, as you know. Jordana, if you guys didn't know, she also not only like helps us with all of the the meal prep and, and the planning there, but also obviously online and the community. Um, I I did try and make the ceviche. Um, <laughs> it is in some some sort of state of disrepair in the in the kitchen. I did get all the ingredients. I just haven't put them all together yet. I didn't have time. But if you guys had had a go of them, they look delicious. I'm gonna make the ceviche as soon as we've stopped tonight. But Jordana, no thank you for that. Of course, no worries. It just, you know, it doesn't have to look good. It just has to taste good, so. That's it, right? That's it. And, and are you, what are you drinking there? Is that a? I'm, I am drinking some Pico Punch in a oh. Mexican sort of glass. So keeping it, it LA looks style, delicious. you know. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. Last year we had such an amazing time and I, I still remember that picture with uh, yourself and John and, and Alex and I at the end of the night when we're all just, passed out on the couch because it, we were exhausted, but it was such an incredible, uh, incredible evening. And I hope that we get to do it all again, you know, I really in the near hope future. So. Definitely, yeah. I'm looking forward to next year and a little bit of normalcy and a lot of celebration, so. Absolutely, well, cheers to that. Thank <laughs> you, Jordana. You. Thank you for all the work you do. We love cheers you. Cheers to all the peakers. Cheers to you, peakers. Jordana, you might have to hang up. I know, um, right? I have no idea how to do this, but enjoy your evening and thank you. Let's Thank see. you so much. No, that's my pool. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, your pool. It's nice. <laughs> I'll quit. You quit. I'll keep going. Go. Bye, guys. See you guys. Oh, no. Wait, I'm staying. Guys, I'm still here. Are you still here? Um, there is a lot of you here. There's 20,000 of you. I'm disappointed there's not more. Uh, I see Cajona Scotland saying, thanks, guys. Hi, Richie. Cheers, buddy. I hope you're well. I know we would have loved to chat to you as well. We will get an opportunity to do that. Um, I want to say hello to one other person before we continue tonight. Um, you may know him by the guy that wears the baseball hat. It's not John, you're right. It is indeed the man with the German accent. Um, uh, let me see. I don't want to, it's third time is a charm. I don't want to mess this up now. Let's see if I can just say a quick hello to our friend, Mr. Neruzi, the man that really helped us bring this all together. Oh, there he is. 
I don't have a baseball hat. I'm sorry to disappoint. I knew you'd have a hat. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? I'm good. We need to talk about your German, but maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Deutsche Freund. We have very hard to work on but we come back to that, Sam. You, you did so much better in rehearsal with German. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I need, I, I'm missing more rehearsal. I but uh, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was fun. And uh, dude, thank you so much for joining us. And we miss you guys. But we had such a great year last year. This has been such a great weekend, you know, from the workout to, to the amazing yoga session with, with Coach Mooney. And then, uh, you know, even our, our, our recipes that you guys put together, it's been really fun. So um, we did, we did. And on behalf of all the peers, all, every, the team, thank you for leading the way. Thank you for inspiring us every day. I think I speak on behalf of all the peers and all of us at the organization. It's the energy we need. Your leadership is definitely giving us direction. Yeah. I yeah. couldn't decide, so I have to. <laughs> well, that's what I like to see. Yeah, I know you're right. You know, I think um, this kind of energy, this kind of positivity right now in the world, you know, as you said, you know, we, we, we spoke about it. We weren't sure we should do this, you know, but um, we think this is the right time to, to bring people together. And it's not us, it's you guys. Uh, there's there's uh, Coach Mooney there saying thank you. Thank you, Coach Mooney. You know, it's, it is really you guys that, that, that um, make it rewarding and really bring everyone together. So, so thank you from the bottom of our hearts. It was absolutely the right call. I think we as speakers, obviously, with, with so many different nationalities, so many different ethnicities, you know, celebrating our common love and joy for our community. It's just a good time to see this empowerment. I think uh, it was a good call to all this, but let's, let's drink to better days. For sure. Absolutely. I'll, I'll drink to that. Cheers, my friend. I, now I'm going to say I try to text you, but there's an X that you have to click that kicks me out. So oh. I don't want to try it or I just kick myself out. You should take yourself out. I have no idea. I don't want to, I don't want to break my I'll, setup I'll, here. I'll, I'll kick myself out. and, and Take and yourself and away. If I find out how to do it. All there you go. We can all look at your beautiful view there in Los Angeles. And no matter yeah. where you are, guys, we really, um, we really appreciate you joining us from around the world. 82 different countries that you guys join us from. It's incredible. We have so many different languages, different cultures, and you all come together, you support each other. And one of the greatest things we have in the program, not only is, of course, the workouts and the food plans, uh, the yoga, but it's also um, the online community. And we have this private um, forum where you guys come together and you share your challenges, your, your success, your failures, your recipes. We really can't thank you enough because that is so special and it's heartfelt. And we, I check in all the time. Um, you know, if I, even if I'm not commenting, I see it and it really is quite special. So thank you all for doing that. Um, today, today, you guys, we did have a little challenge today. Obviously, active recovery. We wanted you to hike, walk. If you can't, obviously, with social distancing, with uh, the lockdown situation, wherever you are, we want you to walk around the block, go up and down the stairs. It was a simple number, 2020. It's, uh, this year, obviously, is a, is a strange year. It's a crazy year. And this is where we need to, to, to be together and be part of a community um, and support each other. So obviously, 2020 steps or meters, that's all you need to do. Post your picture of yourself doing that. You can still do it. I'll let you off. You can still do that. If you do that, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to donate. I'm going to take my Bloodwise or Blood Cancer UK, as they are now called, uh, running vest. I will sign it. I'll even throw in a little Mikey Challenge, slightly sweaty band here. But if um, you post that, we'll pick a winner. Now, this time of the day, normally at this point of the night, we've had some, some alcohol. We've spoken to our charities. We've even, you're right, We've even uh, had a little bit of food. I did try. I did, honestly. It's still out there. I just didn't get time. Do you know how hard it is to blow up all these balloons? But to be honest, I might keep doing that because they are fantastic. But this point of the night, well, it's time to dance. Did I hear you right? Time to dance. Yes, it's time to dance. Now, what I want to do. Well, listen, I don't know how to do this. I just learned today. Um, what you need to do is go find yourself two very large swords yes that's right two swords now if you don't have a pair of swords well then mark something on the floor or just imagine them i want you to put them down in front of you actually there should be a disclaimer here do not hurt yourself doing this 
if I if I cut myself, I'll blame Alex. It's fine. Guys, put them down in the cross right in front of you. There we go. You're gonna jump over these swords. Now, I've only just looked at this. I might have to move this slightly to one side. Try not to break everything. There we go. I'm gonna do that. Now I need to put on some music, guys. Um, here we go. Now, simple sword dance. If you don't know it, um, the basic step is called a dosi do or a paddy bar, I think they might call it. I don't know. I, look, guys, I've never done this before in my life. Here we go. So it's, you're going to jump from heel to heel. And, and each time, you're lifting up your leg next to your calf, right? Then you're going to jump from one side to the next, in between each side of the sword. Yes, you heard it right. Don't stand on the sword. Here we go. Let's give this a little go. We're going to have a little sword dance here together. Do it with me. Now... The most important part of this is the hands. No, it's not the shaka. It's not your there you go, the shaka. It's not it's not your your metal, it's your stag's horns. There we go. Now we want to bow together. The swords are on the ground, guys. I can't show you them. There we go. Up on your toes. Up for your stags. Two, three, four, one. That's it. Over each toy. That's it. Watch those toys. Woo! <laughs> yes. One more time now. There we go. And guys, congratulations, your first sword dance. I don't have any feet left, but never mind. Dude, look at that on YouTube. Do learn how to do it properly. Don't take my word for it. But uh, I'm out of breath. I might need a little, little pick up punch. Guys. You may have noticed a little theme tonight, the gold, the, uh, the gold, it's supposed to be pineapple. I think you'll see where I'm going there, the pineapple punch. I was in America eating pineapple. Here we go. Look, I tried to make you another pineapple side down cake. Um, it was a bit of a disaster. The first one, not disaster, it tasted great, but uh, it, it didn't look so good. Um, again, I tried to make you one today. Uh, I admit, I might need um, some more lessons there. But look, I've, I've got you a pineapple upside down uh, of some sorts. Um, just, let, just let me light this. Um, if you guys want to make a pineapple upside down cake, uh, love to see them. You know, there were some great attempts. Um, I might even let someone win a prize. You never know. Um, oh, by the way, if you do happen to try the sword dance there, why don't you give it a go? Maybe learn online. Don't do what I do. Uh, tag me in it. Tag NPC, the winner. This beautiful, beautiful um, flag there. I'll sign it. We'll, we'll get that sent off to you guys. Or if it's not even the, the dance, maybe it's something else you want to do. Something that you've really enjoyed in this part of MC, the social distancing 30, maybe it was the workout, maybe it was the yoga, maybe it was the hiking. Just post us, tell us what you love about it. Get us tagged, you win that. I'll, I'll, we'll get it signed, we'll get it sent out to you. Guys, my pineapple upside down. Not a cake, but it's a pineapple upside down, nevertheless. Thank you so much for joining us for the MPC uh, virtual gala. Um, I'm sorry we couldn't do more. We've done as much as I, I can do uh, in my small space here, but we really love you joining us for every moment of this. It's been an amazing couple of years. It's been an amazing time with you guys all. We hope you keep joining us. If you haven't joined NPC, please do. It's a great community. Obviously, 50% of all the proceeds goes to charity. The rest goes into promoting and creating this amazing community that we have uh, around the world. You guys are inspiring. You're inspiring me. Thank you so much. Thanks to all our coaches. 
I've blown one out. Thanks to um, everyone that was involved. Thank you to obviously to all our speakers. Stay safe out there. Cheers and happy NPC Gala. <sighs> Cheers, guys. See you next year in Scotland. Next time, someone's making me a drink. <laughs>